Now the weather may be getting chilly in Brooklyn, but the film scene is just heating up. I'm Kristen Goodwin. Welcome to the fourth annual Willa Fest. <laughs> is just is going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm along the way. to you and uh, that's what I come to do bring some good music to you That's right, the Willie Fest 2013, and we're outside Food Town. They've been one of our wonderful sponsors almost every year, and I think it's gonna be year five too next year. They're gonna also sponsor. So let's go inside and let's take a look at what's new this year. Let's go. Now at Food Town is Will Dawkins, and we decided we're going to make you our official mascot for the <laughs> Willie Fest. How do you feel about that? I feel awesome about that. So, how long have you been here working as a firefighter in Brooklyn? Almost eight years. I've been here for about 7.7 .7 years. And what do you love most about Williamsburg? The area. It's, it's changed tremendously uh, from, this, from the time that I got here. Uh, the bars, the people, the, the new buildings, it's just brought life to the whole area. So. Well, thank you for what uh, all the you know everything you guys do at the firehouse. Thank you so much. It's Absolutely. wonderful, it's and I know pleasure. that you brought some colleagues here. You're, you're doing a quick run into the food town, eating some nutritious food, and running back to work, right? Absolutely, we always eat nutritious. Look at that. We got to stay strong and healthy. That's right. So it's firefighter Will, and he's now our new mascot. <laughs> Woo! Living it up right here Absolutely. at the Willie Fest. Doing it right. <laughs> food town.
corner of Kent Avenue, right in Williamsburg, at the Brooklyn Harvest Market. And with us is Shabir. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Great. Great to be back here with the Willie Fest. I heard you've got a brand new, amazing facility. It's a brand new market. We just opened uh, April this year. So it's more uh, focused on the natural organics, uh, free range, quality meats, quality produce. All right, so you're going to show me inside? Sure, let's go. I'm already hungry. All right, let's go. We're a full service grocery store, high end grocery store with meat, produce, seafood, uh, poultry, uh, and you're currently seeing in front of our seafood department, which has a variety of uh, fresh water and salt water seafood. Uh, we have a, a salt water lobster tank here. Uh, you can see they're, they look like they're taking a little nap right now, but they're all alive and anxious not to be eaten, but. Uh, <laughs> Now, are you feeding them uh, tiger shrimp? What are those like little shrimpy looking things? Is that food for the lobsters? That is food for the lobsters, yes. Okay. <laughs> those of you who are gluten free, we have uh, quite a selection from your coconut to your potato um, to your almond. We're trying to keep uh, gluten as, at, at as many products as possible. I know I'm gluten free myself, but there's a lot of customers who come in and ask for gluten free. They've got the allergen. There's no boxes, no jars, no cans. Uh, the vegetables come in whole, we fabricate them. The salmon comes in whole, six days a week we fabricate that. Uh, the beef, the turkey, the fresh ahi tuna comes in fresh as well, the chicken. It's a scratch kitchen. My goodness, and you know what, the prices are really reasonable because you would pay so much more if you went out to try to eat healthy at a restaurant, but here you're bringing like a fresh, almost like a restaurant, high quality food right to your own dinner table. Well, that was an active decision that Shabir and I and the owners nice made. Nice job, guys. We didn't want to price ourselves out of the market, and we know what it costs to live. In New York, it's the second largest city on the planet. And it's difficult to you know maintain a healthy diet. It's easier to go to McDonald's and spend $2 on a hamburger than spend $4 on a meal like this. And this is so much better. Much better. Oh yeah. my goodness, thank you so much. Absolutely, I appreciate it. Well, I believe we've got about 400 different types of cheeses. And again, um, this selection you will not find in too many places in New York. Um, Mina, who's our cheese manager here, sources cheese literally from all over the world. We have stuff uh, flown in from Italy on a daily basis. Um, Germany, Switzerland, Spain, of course, is great for cheeses. A lot of Dutch cheeses, a lot of great stuff as local as well. There's a lot of great Vermont cheeses that we use here as well. This store we went a little bit uh, bigger to offer a little more to our customers. Uh, Food Town is a little bit smaller, so we don't have the same variety that we have here. So with this location, we can offer them more variety with the same friendly customer service, the same natural and organic products that we carry, as well as you know all of these new items we have to offer. Here we go. This is Honda's bite. Here you go, Honda. Good thing he doesn't have to talk while he's shooting, but I do. So let me take a nice little bite of this. Okay, here we go. What is this called again? It's, it's a, a lemon ricotta. Oh. And you think you're eating lemon cheesecake. Yeah. And you... it's so popular, sometimes mm. it takes three weeks for us to get a fresh order in. It, it, it's got about a five day shelf life and usually it's gone in 24 hours. That is fantastic. You can have that for dessert and you wouldn't know. 
No, you wouldn't know. Right. You just did, actually. I just had dessert. <laughs> it was really good. Brooklyn Harvest Market. I would come just for that, for the lemon ricotta.